Devin, thank you. To be evicted from an apartment in Vermont, you don't have to fall behind on your rent. In fact, landlords don't have to give a reason at all. But on the town meeting day ballot in March, there may be a ballot question in Burlington about requiring just cause. Local 22's Mike Hoey shows us more. According to Vermont Legal Aid, 20% of Chittenden County eviction cases are filed without cause. Burlington property owners spoke with a city council committee Wednesday night. We feel that it's an overreach to uh, establish a bylaw or any type of uh, sort of local uh, control that would prevent us from just simply moving in another direction once that lease term is up. New Hampshire is one of four states that require just cause for evictions. Seattle and Washington, D.C. also have city-level requirements. In the jurisdictions where our, our kids have been that have this, if the landlord wants them to go for whatever reason it is, and their toilet doesn't, their toilet doesn't function, and they call the landlord and they say the toilet's not functioning, the landlord would say, gee, yeah, I'll have to get on that, and then it'll, the weeks will go by. Beth Davies Carpinello was concerned about a just cause ordinance destroying any incentive to be a good landlord or a good tenant. City Councilor Sarah Carpenter suggests requiring one year of occupancy before the protection would kick in. She said cities and states that already have it also have exceptions for quite a few properties. The provisions that allow the owner to withdraw it from the rental market, um, provisions where the owner or family member intends to move in, um, provisions where properties need substantial repair or renovation. I think that that list there is still to be determined, I guess. It's a, it's a suggested starting point, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it does certainly speak to a number of the questions that were asked. The Community Development and Neighborhood Revitalization Committee will continue working on draft language through the end of November. It'll likely be presented to the full City Council in December. Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. One dance studio in South.